Well, now that I've moved my lights around for the last half an hour and I'm unsatisfied with every single option, uh, let's make a video. Nick from Gorley Records here. Being the huge synthwave crack addict that I am, I always cream myself a little bit when a new synthwave plugin comes out. Or at least I used to, until everyone and their grandmas started making synthwave plugins. Well, guess what, my friends? A new one just dropped. Today, we're just going to take a quick look at Air Music Technologies' new plugin called Hype. It's not technically super new. They made this exclusively for Akai NPCs as like built-in software, but due to demand, they've turned it into a VST. And uh, to be honest, I don't really know what all the hype is about. So hype came out along with six other instruments that Air has released. And all of these plugins are pretty expensive. They range from 80 bucks to $130. They do allow you to mess around with demos though. So that's what we're gonna be looking at here. Okie doke. So this is Hype. It's a pretty simple sort of slick interface. The first thing we're going to talk about is the geometric elephant in the room, and that is these six arbitrary shapes here. I say arbitrary because I thought as you change presets, these might change as well. But as you scroll through, the shapes all stay the same, but what they do changes every single time. This far left one is sort of this Venn diagram circle that is a mixing blend between your two oscillators. And the oscillators depend on which synth engines you have loaded up. Here is this initial tab in the presets where you can load up two analog oscillators, two samples, two wavetables, or two FM oscillators, or you can do any combination of both of them. In each one of these synth engines, you can scroll through sort of what the oscillator does. So on analog, you have the two oscillators between square and saw and variations of those you can pick. The sample inits, you can choose between all of these various uh, oscillator samples. Wavetable has a bunch of different wavetables to choose from. And for the FM engine, you just have a bunch of more oscillator types to choose from. Whenever you load a preset, you just slide these up and down, change the sound, albeit sometimes obnoxiously subtly. And everything will kind of change as you're flipping through what these do. So here you see oscillator one and oscillator two on the green and the orange with, uh, you know, various attacks, attack times showing up in the various uh, other shapes. But as you scroll through, You'll see that here, like this changes to drive. You know, you got an octave here. This is just a single oscillator, I guess. Here you have like a sub showing up, bend time. So these parameters all change for the presets. However, if you're making your own sound, you can't turn these things on and off. So here you see like a sub and a sweep, and sometimes you'll see like a drive. But if I go to these inits, these don't appear on any of them. And clicking these, there's no way to change what they do. So whatever they load on the preset, that's the only parameter you can edit. And there's not much point to really make your own sounds anyway, because there's no way to save your presets with this plugin, which is super bizarre. And I, I suppose the flip side of this is that there's 1500 presets to choose from. So basically hype is just a preset pack and not really much more. And speaking of the presets, let's play with a couple and see what they sound like. Let's find some pads. <laughs> some leads, hard leads here. There's this huge effects section where you can add different effects, although they're all like really simplistic version of each effect, so they're not really that amazing. They're, they are what they are. Here's some organ sounds. And then moving on here in the center of the plugin, uh, you have some more standard synth stuff. So you have a filter envelope, which is ADSR for your cutoff frequency. You also have your amplitude envelope with your standard ADSR. These are all pretty standard stuff. Although one thing of note here is you have this spike, which is part of the attack. 
which when you have the attack all the way down will add some more kind of nice clicky spike sounds. It's only really noticeable when the attack's all the way off and it also adds sort of a uh, undesirable kind of harsh clicking sound, but I suppose that's cool. Uh, the main LFO is just a filter LFO. You also have this control LFO, which is hooked to these aftertouch and mod wheel destinations. So if I have my aftertouch controlling pitch, I can also then have that pitch also modulated with this control LFO. Here's just the aftertouch of the pitch. The aftertouch is kind of, it doesn't really work as smoothly, I've noticed, as other plugins that have aftertouch. It could definitely be uh, honed in a little bit. Even at small depths, it's still really extreme reactions to aftertouch. And you also can't use either of these LFOs to modulate anything else. It might be cool to sort of modulate some of these uh, shapes up here, but uh, there's no option for that. Another thing that would be nice is being able to rearrange these effects, the chain that they're in, uh, which you can't do. Like you might want to put your compressor, you know, earlier on in the chain and maybe move distortion around, but they're locked into this order. Let's look at some of these other categories here, kind of get an idea of what's in here. Sort of just generic string sounds. Too bad. Strings actually sound pretty good. Some of the presets sound pretty good. It's just annoying that you can't sort of mess with your own. There's some more percussive sounds. A little 808 action, I suppose, low end. Got some timpanies. Got some sound effects, falling harp. Spooky. Let's go to some of these synth bigs. Simple monster. Let's check out some of these basses. So we got bass summer. I'm not sure what this is. Just some more subtle basses, I guess. So this is basically just a preset library with very limited ways to modify the sounds. And considering that at full price it's $125, I don't know if that's a really good value for just a preset library. The good news is that Air does often do insanely steep discounts on their products. I don't know why they offer these huge steep discounts compared to their full price when they could just probably make the plugin itself cheaper to begin with, but they do. And it's basically a huge f you to those who buy their plugins early and pay this exorbitant high price when they do discount them down so heavily. So if you really want hype, I'd almost wait for it to go on one of those steep sales unless you really think you'll get use out of this preset library now. And if saying all this made you not want to buy this synth, then uh, don't worry, I am not going to leave you hanging because that's not how I roll here on this channel. There are two other VSTs I would recommend in place of hype that give you a little more control and a little more capability. So the first of these I would recommend is Cherry Audio's Dream Synth. This just came out recently and is only $40. And for those of you who don't do a lot of sound design, seeing all these knobs and buttons might be a bit overwhelming. But just like Hype, this also comes loaded with a bunch of presets. This one comes with over 1,100 presets, and it doesn't put any blocks in front of you of what you can modify. So if you want to change little parameters here and there, you can. It has three separate LFOs and three pitch LFOs, which you can use to modulate anything. Basically, any of these mod buttons, you can click and choose what your modulation source is. So it has a ton of potential for sound design capabilities. It has these three oscillators, each which have a wave A and a wave B, which you can cycle in between. You can also modulate this cycling. 
And each of the waves you can choose from analog wave types. They have uh, like sample wave types. They have FM synth wave types, uh, single cycle waves. Uh, you can do like some wavetable stuff. So it's pretty much a similar sort of engine that Hype has, except you can do a million times more with it because they give you control of everything. And it too sounds good. I know it's not all super cool and neon hipster looking, but it sounds dope, has much more sonic capability, and is cheaper. Now on the flip side, if you want to spend a little bit more money, there's also Analog Lab 5, which is by Arturia. This starts at 200 bucks, which is more expensive, but you're already halfway there with hype. So this has thousands of presets, and it has this really cool search window where you can not only explore based on the instrument types, which these are all the instruments that are in Analog Lab, so they're all modeled after really classic like Moog synths, you know, pianos, Mellotrons, electric pianos. So you can come to this explore section and search by instrument types. Maybe you want a cool CS80 sound. Maybe you're going for some Blade Runner kind of stuff. So you're also going to look for pads and there's a shuffle button. You can press the shuffle just to kind of quickly discover stuff. And next thing you know, you're you're in it. You can also double layer stuff by adding instruments. So I can select another preset here and add two presets into one. And then you can come in here and edit this preset with a variety of different effects and choosing what your effect sends are. It also gives you a ton of different ways just to edit these plugins down here, uh, changing the brightness. If you find a preset you like, like, let's say I like the soft pad, but it's not quite what I want. I can discover similar presets and it will load up other presets that sound the same. So Analog Lab is pretty cool too. You can also find a lot of this Analog Lab and V Collection stuff bundled with Arturia hardware. So if you wanted to, you could buy like an Arturia Key Lab bundled with the software, sell the hardware, keep the software, and uh, it really is actually pretty inexpensive when you do that. But you didn't hear that from me. Anywho, uh, that's hype. Uh, take it or leave it. Uh, I'm leaving it, but that's it for me. See you later, alligators or crocodiles. We don't discriminate against reptiles here, except f you rattlesnakes. <laughs>